Okay, I'm about 10 kilometers into my ride. This is something called Village Gagnon, and that yellow house there is brand new. Uh, it was a village along the railway track, and you just sort of barely see it there in the background. And uh, over time it died as the railway traffic died. Now it's a historical site. You can see the laterary and ladder there on the cross. And it's a nice place, about 10 kilometers in, that I like to stop when I go on a ride. So, bike's performing well so far. Feels like a 747, you think it'll never get off the ground, but once it gets going, it seems to ride pretty smooth. I've swallowed a bug, so I'll need to eat something, otherwise, nothing else to report. It says detour, I see a, an orange sign way down there. I've already done one detour, that's why I'm coming this way, so I don't know. But it's not that far up, I guess I'll try it. Okay, here's the reason for the detour. The bridge is closed till October, according to a sign a bit earlier. Uh, there's some according to the fencing around it. I'll see if I can get through, but it's not looking good. It's washed right out. So, and there's the fencing is there to make sure nobody passes by. I suppose there's an outside chance I could navigate it, but really, the fully loaded bike doesn't make much sense. So I'm going to have to figure out a route around this. Oh, took a bit of a detour through Limoges. There's some road construction happening, and now look. Yes, folks, it's the train. Thought we could have got closer, but there's no real need. That horn is really loud, so beware. Here it comes. Seconds now. And it's one of the old ones. Well, very slowly, too. There's no stop here. I wonder why it's quite so slowly. Oh. It's a long one. Big afternoon train to Toronto. There we go. Okay. Some video with the telephoto. And what we have here are some wild turkeys in the field. And I'm on Russell Road because that's where my detour took me some really bad rural Ottawa roads and then this really busy road so pretty cool all right we're in Cheney busy busy Russell Road there's the Cheney mini market across the road but the main thing here is look at those clouds it certainly looks like it's gonna rain now I'm in Bourget got rained on pretty good there so it stopped for now and there's my bicycle. I'm just trying out the poncho. Awful lot of that around here. Cool. Finally on my dirt road. At the dirt road intersection. Okay, I'm here. And try to darken that a bit. Doesn't really darken, does it? So it was called Whispering Pines. I forget what it's called now. Lots of mosquitoes. I just doused myself with mosquito repellent, but I got some on my lips and now my tongue is going numb, so I may have just poisoned myself. <laughs> but other than that, this is great. Okay, tents up, and I'm ready to make some supper. Uh, 
All right, now I'm in my tent. Here's the air mattress. I thought it might be a bit thicker, but we'll see how it is. Haven't opened up the sleeping bag yet. Scored some toilet paper. Haven't used the Crocs yet, but I'm sure I will tomorrow morning. Garmin inReach worked perfectly. Peanut butter is about to be eaten. I enjoyed the ramen, but it wasn't as filling as I would have liked. And that's her. I've been listening to my ball game, and that's how I'm going to finish my day. Good morning. Just in the process of leaving no trace behind. That's where my tent was. If you listen carefully, and maybe over the traffic noise in the background, you'll hear what a nest of woodpeckers sounds like. Those are all woodpecker chicks in there. I can't see them, of course. But I've seen their mother wandering around, very worried. Oh, Mom has arrived and just left. And how precarious is life for a woodpecker? Well, there's the tree. There's their tree. Look how close it came. That's from the windstorm the other day, or the other week. Okay, here we are approaching St. Elmo again. Uh, viewers of my videos have seen this before. Last time I was here, I lost a lens cap. Maybe I'll find it. That would be cool. Weather's been, as you can see, cloudy. It's been windy. Lots of traffic. Although, after Maxville, I'll be on dirt roads, so that'll be better. Um, and cool, so not so comfortable out here. But pretty good approximation of Anticosti, and that's what this test ride is all about. Anticosti, focusing on that. So there you can see the clouds. Not the wind, but the clouds. Okay, here I am in Maxville again. There's an ugly, ugly looking storm up there, but I'll save thinking about that for later. Most popular place in town. And the Maxville Market is on right now. Very cool. Okay, I just got attacked and bitten by a big dog. And, oh, she's putting some, what is that again? Harrison? Oh, peroxide. Okay. On it. So, because it did break the skin. It's a big white dog, and you don't normally expect a big white dog to attack you. But it did. Okay. Patch dropping on the road again. So, I'll get a little bit of a shock there. But, Those lambs. Sorry I couldn't get a, a shot for you of them going bah, bah. But now they've run behind the house. That's what farmhouses should have. Lambs. Not big dogs twice the size of those lambs. Okay, so what we have here is a truck dispensing fresh calcium on the road. I know this is fresh calcium because Another guy just stopped me to tell me that, just so that I would give him room to go by. So that's what I'm doing, is giving him room to go by. So another delay on this same road. But, you know, the gravel's a good test. Lots of adventures out in the country. I'd think it'd be easy to cycle on this highway, but this highway is way too busy to cycle on. So this is what I'm cycling on. <laughs> the gravel shoulder. Good training though. Okay, as you can see, we got the car out of the ditch. Took five of us. <laughs> and it's a train. Did I mention I like trains? I won't show you the whole train because it looks like it's a long one. Okay, we're in Avonmore. 
been rained on once and attacked once. <laughs> Rescued a dog once, or a car once. That's a nice little town. I like having them more. Okay, I've made it to my destination. Another place with a pond. Still a bit windy, but that should die off pretty soon. And, uh... I think I'm done with the rain now for the weekend. I sure hope so, because that wasn't fun. This was a really tough ride today, I have to say. Um, but good practice. Still a bit windy, but the wind is easing off. Sun has come out. And I have to say, this is about as warm as I've felt all day. It won't last, of course. The sun will go down and it'll get cold at night. but feels really nice on my back right now. It's also the driest I've felt all day. <laughs> so that's it for another day. See you tomorrow. Good morning. So, slept beside this pond all night. And I'm sure you hear the chorus from the frogs. It was actually a bit hard to get to sleep at night. Still, really nice place here. The, the camping itself is pretty large open field. You can see my tent there in the distance. Um, which is good for some things, not so good for other things. What it's good for is really no mosquitoes, so yay. <laughs> um, what it's bad for is wind, and uh, the wind almost blew my tent into the pond before I staked it down, and so I had to patch, as a result of the damage, the uh, fly with some tape that I had. Now it didn't rain, so I didn't test it, but uh, Took quite a bit of damage, so I may have to replace the fly, if that's possible for this model of Big Agnes tent. Uh, yes, froggy. <laughs> oh, all night. They don't stop. Ah, but I love them. Repairs. Repairs. So I had a closer view of this deer, but he ran away quite quickly. This is Newington. Took me a while to remember the name of this town. I'm hoping to find some water here. Nice, very quiet little town. Well, there was no water in Newington. The store that used to be there is closed. So this is kind of how I feel. Like a boat with no water. I've arrived at Finch. And it's lunchtime. That's the town of St. Albert in the distance. I took the all gravel route from Finch to St. Albert. No problems at all. Well, so far. That's the last town that I pass through before I get home to Castleman.
And I'm back in Castleman. This is the South Nation River at the bridge. 